Hello, wild things! Welcome back. For those of you who are just joining us, welcome to the wild. So, I'm Cypress. Today, we are going to talk about the world's best cat litter. And we're going to talk about why this litter is such a really great alternative to clay litter. For those of you who have been following my misadventures, you are now looking through my new camera, my new used camera, and we'll see how the picture is. I'm still learning. I have not gotten the manual downloaded for this thing, so we're just kind of just seeing what happens. I can see, I can see myself. I can tell that I'm in the shot. I can tell that I'm in focus. For those of you who have cats, indoor cats anyway, and those of you who have dogs who use litter boxes, I know you're out there. <laughs> yeah, that, that is a thing. The litter box is sort of this necessary evil that we have in our houses. You gonna help me? Come on, come on. There we go. Uh, the, the smell, it, it's really hard to get the smell down and the, the dust especially always bothered me. The, the, it gets over everything. Everything in the house has this veneer of clay dust and you're breathing it. And it's even worse for these guys' lungs than for ours. And they're right down in it. You like my finger? Oh, my nail polish does not match what I'm wearing. Oh well. And, and then the other thing, um, it, it's less of an issue, but it's super annoying is that the litter box over time gets so scuffed up because that grit inside of it just constantly uh, rubbing it. And eventually they get really worn out and can harbor all kinds of bacteria and stuff because the actual plastic is just scuffed to the point of being really rough and gross. So I was really, really happy to find this. I stumbled upon this when I actually adopted these guys. I had no supplies, so I went to the local pet shop. Um, that sounds bad. It sounds like it sounds like puppy mills. I went to the local pet supply store, and they recommended this. And I was happy to have an alternative to clay, although I was really dubious how a corn-based litter was going to hold up to traditional clumping litters. So I have been using this for four years now and I am really, really happy with it. So let's break down, is this a good option for you or not? So first of all, the packaging is recyclable. So that is a plus. And with corn-based litters, you do not have to have the same chemical type additives in the product which makes it a lot healthier and a lot safer, a lot less of those uh, toxic ingredients. So, so that's helpful. It's a lot more, it's a lot more healthy and uh, eco-friendly. And speaking of eco-friendly, it's corn. So it biodegrades, it's flushable, and it's septic safe. I have a particular situation here where my septic tank, as, as some of you know, my, my septic tank is not quite up to current standards. So I hesitate to flush this stuff, but I have plenty of space outside where I can let it decompose naturally. So I really appreciate that I'm not dealing with a whole bunch of clay to, to get rid of. That's just, just a pain. The, the scuff on the litter box doesn't happen because corn is not nearly as abrasive as clay. Clay is grit, it's dirt, isn't it? Yeah, and corn is, a plant so it, it's just not it doesn't have that abrasiveness to it which also means it's a lot gentler on kitty paws so if you've got a cat who is particularly sensitive to walking on rough things especially if you happen to have a cat who's been declawed you have real trouble with clay litter so this might be a really good alternative for sensitive paws and it also keeps their paws from having that grit that they track around all the time lots of pluses to not having that clay dust as part of the ingredients. And, and continuing on with that not having the clay dust, it's so much better for cats' respiratory health because they're not breathing this stuff in. It, it doesn't have this cloud of grit that, that gets into your lungs. While it does have some little bit of corn uh, dust that it, it generates, 
it's not gritty and it's it's so much easier to to clean up than 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 the clay the house stays so much cleaner with this stuff these guys I, I got them when they were eight and a half weeks old so I'm assuming they probably had clay litter before that, but when I brought them home, we started with this. They did not have any difficulty recognizing it as the bathroom. They were really good right from the start. No, no sort of cognitive issues with, is this litter, is this not litter? With a more adult cat, switching might be a little difficult. I looked at reviews online and a lot of people said their cats had no trouble but I do know of at least one person who, whose cat did not initially want to switch to this. We'll, we'll talk about ideas for uh, that in a little bit. The real question though is does this perform when it comes to actually doing what it's supposed to, which is absorbing the litter and absorbing the odors from the, from the litter. So with, with clay-based litters, I, I think hands down clumping litter is the, the go-to. Uh, I'm a fan of clumping litter. Uh, this clumps and I was really dubious, like I said, how is a corn-based product going to clump the way clay does? But it actually, in my opinion, clumps better. I don't know how they do it. They, they claim that there's something molecular about whole grain corn that has this sort of super absorbency, but it works really well. It clumps really tight units, you, you can scoop it. I'll show you um, a little, uh, an image of scooping it. It's, it scoops just as well as the best scoopable clay litters that I've tried. And it also, I have found the, the smell absorption works even better. Um, I unfortunately don't have good spots in this house to put the litter, so right now I've actually got a litter box on the far end of the kitchen, which is really, really great. It's actually the dining area, technically, but it, 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 it's gross. But nevertheless, that's where there's a space to put a litter box, and the garbage makes more smell than the cat litter box. This stuff is really absorbent. I do use the, the lavender scent because I just prefer it and the cats actually prefer it. I know that's weird because a lot of cats are sensitive to, to smells and perfumes, but these guys grew up around incense and scented candles and <laughs> all that kind of stuff. So I guess it's just normal to them to have things that have a little bit of a artificial scent to them. It, it just depends on your specific cat and what that cat prefers. But they do make an unscented variety, they make a variety for multiple cats, and like I said, odor, you can never get 100%, like, like, especially if they leave things for you on the top, which is my signal to get in here and clean it up real quick. Uh, it really, really is the best litter I've found for odors, and that includes clay litters that have Arm & Hammer baking soda mixed into the, the, the ingredients. Super high performing. I have been absolutely converted to this stuff. Uh, I am not gonna claim it's the absolute best litter out there because everybody has different situations and different needs and I haven't tried every single litter that's out there, but this works well enough for me that I have no motivation to experiment with anything else. So, so there's that. One annoying thing, and it's actually the packaging that I'm talking about. This package, once you open it, it doesn't have a reseal, like a re-zip or a, a stick back together or anything. My solution is to take just a giant chip clip of all things, a bag clip, and, and just kind of hope it doesn't get knocked over hard because the chip clip isn't strong enough to really hold it. Conversely, you might have a, an airtight container that you could find that's big enough to, to hold the litter in. So that, that's a little bit of a, an, an, an annoyance because I really don't go through the litter very fast because that's the other thing. It lasts so long. Comparative uh, to clay, that's not a word. When comparing it to clay, every so often with the clay, you have to just get rid of the whole thing because it just, it starts absorbing moisture and it doesn't clump as well. And most of the litter has some, it just gets weird. With this stuff, 
I go, I think three or four times as long before I have to just get rid of the whole thing and, and dump it out new. Replacing the litter just means every so often they've, they've gone through enough of it that I add more. There, there really isn't a need to switch it out, which is economically a lot better. The price on this, I think, is a little higher than most clay litters. As of last week, I paid $36.16 for this on Amazon. I think it's, it's quite a, significantly cheaper if you have a Prime membership, though. I'm stubborn, and I'm holding out on that. Not doing it yet. But, like I said, it has a better longevity, I think, than the clay litter. So really, cost-benefit analysis, this is so <laughs> worth it. And I don't have to worry about the cats having respiratory issues, and I don't have to deal with... Just just for the cleanliness factor alone, it's it's useful. I think at the end of the day, it, it has enough of a longevity that it really starts to balance out that extra that extra few dollars to get this rather than uh, clumping clay litter. I think that is all of the actual details about the product I wanted to talk about, but how do you switch your cats over if they're used to clay litter? What if you've got finicky cats? They can get a little territorial if you start mixing things up on them. My first idea would be leave their current litter box or boxes alone and introduce a new one. I know that's a big hassle, but it's temporary. Let them get used to it, see if they're using it, and slowly, you know, start to work it into, uh, just incrementally switch them over, maybe one at a time as they start using them more regularly. I think most cats are gonna prefer it because they're not breathing in the clay dust and it's gentler on their feet. So once they get used to the idea of it and that it doesn't make it weird for going to the restroom, I think, Cats generally are going to prefer this product, although we all know how proud and stubborn cats can be, so let them think it's their idea to be using it, right? You're listening to all my secrets right now. He doesn't care. He's good to go. The other thing that I, I did way back in the day when I was switching a cat from pine shavings to clay litter, he had been an outdoor cat and he didn't recognize the clay litter as actually where to go to the bathroom. In fact, when we brought him home as a kitten, an older kitten, he held it for days because he was afraid to go and make a mess, but he didn't recognize the litter box as an outlet for that. And when he got into the workshop, and the, somebody opened the door to the workshop and he saw those pine shavings and he just ran in there and used it like that. And he like, I swear this tiny little cat peed like half a gallon. It was insane. So I took some of those pine shavings and I just covered the top of the litter box, the clay litter, just covered it with pine shavings. And after that, I started using it. And over a period of a week or two, I was able to have less and less pine shavings on the top of the litter and he just switched over. So maybe if you're having trouble getting the cats to use this litter, have the clay litter box and sprinkle some of this on top. It's going to be a little weird to have the two different materials that, that clump differently and act differently together. It'll be kind of messy for a little while as far as maintaining the litter box, but but just that incremental add a little bit more, a little bit more until uh, the consistency sort of switches over so that it's a, a lot more of this and maybe maybe do it incrementally that way. But as we all know, cats and even sometimes dogs even though they can be trained to use the litter box, they might be a little picky. So if you have any other ideas for how to get animals to switch types of litter, this might be a great forum. You can make comments below. What do you think? Have others of you used this litter? Have you tried it out? Do you like it? Are there problems that you found that I haven't found with it? Do you have other alternatives to clay litter? You know, let's talk it out a little bit. So those are my thoughts. Been really happy with this product. The cats are really happy with this product. Um, let me know how the new camera's working. Let me know what you think of the litter. Jasper says hi. He's just laying here hanging out. So uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for letting me talk about a product that I use that I like a lot. And uh, do me a favor. Keep it wild.